Okay, now we start to load the ink from the ink damper to the print head because we fill the ink to the ink tank already. So each new print head and each new ink damper, we need to use one new, brand new, uh, never use the injection syringe. We put the syringe to connect with the damper. First, we put the black, first the one. And the ink flow from the left to right is KCMY, same as KCMY on the mark. You can also find out the color mark on each tuber. So first we load, load the black. We connect the syringe with the damper. And we fear we hold damper by this way, cannot by this way. Otherwise, the ink will be flushing out. We hold by the, back, the left and right side by this way. And we load the ink pulled out. Then we feel about five milliliter for each color. To be sure there's no air inside the damper. Okay, then we install the bike on the print head. We install also hold the ink damper by this way. By this way, cannot by this way. Otherwise, it will be flushing out to damage the print head and print the cable. Then we put install by this way and the fasten it to wear. Then we load, use another brand new. We install the next one, Cyan. Install like this, and we be sure all the damper tubes are not bending for each. It's never bending. And install the wear for also white ink print head damper. By this way. Then we can start to uh, power on the machine and open the white ink circulation. And the ink will be go, go through. So be sure, also be sure the table is clean. It's, free without anything block the catch moving. The table is clean without any liquid. And we can start to power on the machine. So we go to power on the machine. Okay, after uh, print head installed, damper installed, we can start to do the open the white ink circulation system. So after we, so after we pump on the machine, we open the white ink circulation and the pump, we start to pump the ink. and we can check if the pump is working or not. We can see the white ink coming, see? And then we we'll go back to the bottle. And also when we go, the, go to the back side, we can see the white ink go back. So we can see the white ink go and the back to the ink bottle.
is working well. So after be sure all the wild ink or go back to the big ink tank, we can start to load the ink from the sub ink tank. We pump the wild ink secretion, then we can choose off, and then we push down the emergency button, and we can move the carriage out of home position. But also, it's better if we just move by left. We automatically to move to left, and we need to move the table to go forward to protect the ink via, to protect if the ink uh, dropping down to damage the, the machine, get dirty. Okay, then we be sure the wet ink secretion function is off and we can start to use the injection, brand new injection to pour one by one. So first we pour the first one, we take it out of the damper and we pour. If we pour, we must uh, block another three tubes to be sure it's not go back to another position. But this way, and we pour. Okay, then we go back. Put the damper back to the print head. And then we do the same way to load the second one. Then we can push back the wet ink to the bottle. We also connect and we block another two, now three tubers. Bending and bending. And we pull. Be sure it's full of ink. Then we put it back. Also, we hold the damper at this way. And then we're flushing back. And be careful to install back. Then we do the same way to the last of two dampers. We connect it. And then we block two and now the three tubers to bend it. You just bend the tuber and you can load. So this is number three. Okay, we go to the next one, the last one. Also, we are bending and bending. Now it's empty, 
and we bending and bending block and we start load. Be sure is no air on the damper. Full of ink. Okay, then we put back. And the install wear. Be sure the tuber is no bent. And a fast and wear for each. Okay, then we open the saturation again to make this enough full of ink. Then we pop it off. So remember, every day, every time you start to print, you need to open the white ink separation button to use the white ink. And when you now use the machine, you just click off. So this button must be open during you want to print white ink. So if you don't want to print white ink, you just want to print with color ink. So you just click off. And every day before you print the machine, make a machine to print, you need to open to make the white ink separation without settling and the fresh ink go back, the fresh ink go to the sub-ink tank and then go to each damper and then go back to the big ink, ta ink tank for separation. And be sure all the dampers are installed where no damage. Okay, so this is a procedure to load ink from ink damper. Okay, thank you, see you next time.